I have been with Healthcare Partners for probably two years, and uh, my experience has been absolutely terrific. When I go to a specialist, my records follow me. There's no need to actually provide any additional information. They know what's happened in my primary care doctor's office. Become a healthcare partner today. Medicare open enrollment starts October 15 and ends December 7. Learn more about how you can become a healthcare partner at hcpnv.com. News 46 is brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For more information, call 751-0349. News is also brought to you by Dr. Richter from Compassionate Care for Women, providing personalized quality health care for women at every stage of life. Tonight on News 46, firefighters extinguish a home that caught fire last night. Are you planning on taking a trip? Nevada Highway Patrol has some tips. And the Prompt Valley High School drama students are cloning themselves. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Monique Mitchell. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Thursday, December 5th, 2013. I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. A former employee of KPVM TV, Max Burlake, helped his elderly next door neighbor last night after she arrived home and found her house caught on fire. The elderly female has said to have been out last night when the structure fire occurred. Emergency crews arrived on scene just after 9 p.m. after the next door neighbor by the name of Max Burlick was contacted by the elderly female and he called 911 for her. She reported that smoke was coming out of the bottom of her garage and her chimney upon arrival. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue were able to open the garage and extinguish the content fire that was inside. There was smoke damage throughout the home. No extension to the fire was reported. The fire appears to have been accidental in nature. Nye County Sheriff's deputies blocked traffic while firefighters extinguished the blaze. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Noah Began brings us some holiday traveling tips from the Nevada Highway Patrol. During the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, meteorologists in northern Nevada were preparing citizens for the first winter storm of the season. Once the snow fell and the temperatures dropped, the roadways in northern Nevada became treacherous as calls for motorists kept coming into the Nevada Department of Public Safety, Nevada Highway Patrol Dispatch Center. The calls ranged from assisting motorists stuck in the snow, motorists sliding off the highways, and injury accidents. Before noon yesterday, NHP troopers responded to 15 slide-offs, 38 motorist assists, 40 property-only accidents, 17 injury accidents, and four accidents that involved NHP troopers, in which they were not at fault. The day's totals in the area of northern Nevada, from 7.30 until 12 p.m., were 41 reported slide-offs, 112 reported motorist assists, 118 reported property-only accidents, and 56 reported injury accidents. Many of the incidents and accidents that the Nevada Highway Patrol troopers responded to were caused by motorists driving too fast for the conditions of the highway, following too closely to other vehicles and driver inattention. The Nevada Highway Patrol urges the motorists of Nevada to use caution when driving on all Nevada roadways. Use your seatbelt, turn on your headlights, and make sure all of your windows are free of obstructions such as snow and ice. Please your gifts Please give yourself plenty of time during your commute, give yourself plenty of distance behind the other vehicles, and slow down as to have more time to react to any incident or accident that happens in front of you. If you are planning a long distance trip, please prepare yourself and your vehicle. Bring extra clothing to keep warm in case you are stranded with no assistance for an extended period of time. Bring food and water, a cell phone, and a flashlight. We'll have more of your weather later in the broadcast. I'm Noah Began for News 46. 
Thank you, Noah. KPVM TV Channel 46 is pleased to announce a new local show starting February 3rd. The show is called Eye on Cancer, featuring Dr. Raja Mehdi of Hope Cancer Care of Nevada. Dr. Mehdi is a board certified medical oncologist who is ranked top in his field. If you have any health care related questions, Dr. Mehdi would like to personally answer them. Please email your questions to ryan at kpvm.tv. Dr. Mehdi will answer the questions on our first show in February. Well, the drama class at Pahrump Valley High School will be performing copies this weekend. The public is invited to attend the performance in the high school auditorium. It's going to be happening Friday and Saturday, December 6th and 7th in the high school auditorium at 7 p.m. You got that wrong. That cannot happen. Hey, I was close. Close is not good enough. The most powerful tool you possess on your way to becoming a well-functioning clone is your brain and the ability to use it quickly. A little bit about uh, what it's about. It's called Copies. Yes, it's called Copies. Uh, the name actually refers to the characters as clones. And in some future world, um, people have enough money now to uh, get a replica of themselves so they can use them for spare parts. Unfortunately, for the characters in the play, they want to rebel against being only spare parts. And so they believe that they have an existence uh, of their own. A, a little bit of uh, some, some things that we've seen recently in some movies. Yes. Who wrote this? Brad uh, Slate, and it's produced with special arrangement by Samuel French. And uh, the kids are performing here from the high school. How many are in the cast? Um, there's about 15 in the cast. We have a few extras, and of course we have uh, maybe half a dozen tech people too. So it's a pretty large production. Copies is... It's a dramatic comedy in which it's about how it's slightly set in the future in which you can send to a lab and have a copy, a clone of yourself made. And you can have them do your homework, your job, whatever you want them to do. And the play is set around a group of clones that call themselves copies. And they don't like how the one, a rebel, Melissa, play, portrayed by Annie, is a rebel who doesn't like how it's set up. They, uh, she wants things to change. She doesn't want to be someone's portable parts department. The general public can come to see the show, right? Absolutely. I hope they do. Is there a fee to come in? Uh, Five dollars is the standard fee for everyone. And then what time are the performances? 7 p.m. Friday night and Saturday night, December 6th and 7th. And so you should come a little bit early, right? Yes. Uh, get the best seats, of course. Well, folks, keep it here because we're going to have more local news for you after these messages. This portion of the news is brought to you by Albertsons. You're in for something fresh. Welcome back to News 46. The Nevada Silver Tappers will be performing their Christmas show this weekend at the Saddle West. We're the Nevada Silver Tappers, and we're with Miss Senior Golden Years USA 2013. And the other three of us are also past queens. We're getting ready for our 23rd annual Christmas benefit show. It's called Christmas Love. And all of our shows are to help the needy or those less fortunate. This year, we're going to especially extend a warm welcome to the DAR, Nye County Coalition, the VFW Food Bank, and RSVP. And that's where all of the money that we collect will be given. We begin with the, a prayer by Dr. Sosi, and then that's usually followed by our queen and the lighting of the Christmas tree. And then we have a brand new treat, the Nevada Silver Tappers and Miss Senior Golden Years Ambassador Choir will be performing for the very first time. We have a young man, a gentleman, who has traveled the world, and he's a steel guitarist. His name is Larry F Farrell. And of course, the Tappers will be performing. And we have our own Tom Saida and Pat Woods from Pahrump. Scotty Starlets are also going to perform. And a special performance, we have some Hawaiian dancers 
who are going to entertain us. Don't forget our ventriloquists, Linda Groover and Angel. And Angel will be back. And Angel has a new performance for you. Please don't let me forget Johnny V. That's all the ladies' favorites. And he will be there. And our queen will also be singing for us. And she is wonderful. Wait till you hear her voice. Then we have some other singers. Bobby Judson, who has traveled all over the world singing. And he's going to be accompanied by Laurie Stabenow. It's going to be a wonderful show. And our signature dance will conclude the performance. And that's Wooden Soldiers. We are all directed. All of this is directed and produced by B.J. Hetrick Irwin. She's done it. This is our 23rd year. And she produces, she directs, and teaches, and sometimes even yells a little bit. <laughs> but we want to wish everybody a blessed Christmas or whatever holiday it is you'll be celebrating. Well, you've just heard about our wonderful show that's going to be held this Sunday at Saddle West. The program times are 3 o'clock in the afternoon and 7 o'clock in the evening. We are running pretty short of tickets for the 3 o'clock show, but there are plenty left for the 7 o'clock show. Tickets will be sold at the door at Saddle West uh, if there's any tickets left. But if you would like to get your tickets in advance and have them held for you, uh, you can give uh, me a call, Vicki, at 537-2079. And we hope all of you will join us. Thank you. Well, hackers have stolen usernames and passwords for nearly 2 million accounts for Facebook, Google, Twitter, Yahoo, and others. The massive data breach was a result of a key logging software maliciously installed on an untold number of computers around the world. Internet security experts say many breaches occur because passwords are too easy to guess. They offer a number of tips to help keep your personal data safe from hackers. Use better passwords. Make them long. The minimum should be eight characters, but even longer is better. Use combinations of letters and numbers, upper and lower case, and symbols. Avoid words that are in dictionaries as there are programs that can crack passwords by going through databases of known words. Avoid easy-to-guess words even if they aren't in the, diction in the dictionary. Avoid your name, company name, or hometown, for instance. Likewise, avoid things that can be looked up up, such as your birthday or zip code. Don't use the same password everywhere. When a malicious hacker gets a password to one account, it's often a stepping stone to a more serious breach. Well, the founder of the Act of Kindness Award, Butch Andre Harper, explains how to nominate someone you know for the award. All you gotta do is get, write up a letter of recommendation. I do not pick the people in Prompt, Nevada. The people in Prompt, Nevada pick the people here. So if you have anybody you would like to recommend, please do it in letter form. And you'll see a picture of why you have to do this. And the reason is we have to keep a record. So nobody says just, you know, we'll know that there's no favoritism towards anybody. So if you have anybody you'd like to recommend, you can contact me at 751-1257. Have it in letter form or you can take it up to uh, KPVM TV. Put it in an envelope and either put down an act of kindness for it, the Anno Donald or my name on it, and just leave it at the front desk. You don't even have to see anybody. So that's the way it's got, that's the way it works. The people at Prump nominate them. Well, the Pahrump Valley Professional Firefighters, in partnership with Positive Pahrump, is hosting its fourth annual Christmas toy drive. Throughout the month of December, they will be collecting unwrapped toys for local families in need and also host a Santa's shop for families to come and personally select donated toys. For families in need of assistance this holiday season who are not receiving assistance from any other organization, the PVPFF would po with and Positive Pahrump will be hosting a Santa shop on December 14th from noon until 4 p.m. at the Pahrump Valley Firefighters Union Hall located at 300 Emory Street. During this event, children can visit Santa and select a gift on a first-come, first-served basis. To donate to the toy drive, please call 253-0910. Well, folks, keep it here because we're going to have more news for you after this break. <music> 